since y'all did y'all did that so bad on that song, I think we're going to do another sing along. If that's okay. Uh, I, my, 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 my tour manager is giving me the evil eye because at this point I'm actually supposed to talk about the stuff I have over there to sell. I'll just be very brief. I have my poetry book. I have my short story book. I have two CDs, but my CDs are now uh, in a book. I didn't bring it up here. And it's in a book that has all the lyrics in there, and it's got the CD in there. It also has a QR code because some of you people don't have CD players in your cars anymore. And so it's got that QR code, and you can listen to that where you can download it. It's got the stories behind the song, so I've got that. And then I have I have this friend named Matthew McCarran, who's this uh, kind of this bipolar. Uh, beautiful artist uh, who uh, stays up way late, uh, like several days in a row kind of guy. And uh, he stayed up way too late several days in a row and he made all of these bags out of these this, these really cool bags that are made out of uh, recycled material. And they're all themes from my songs and things that I post and poems and stuff like that. So I've got that too. Is there anything else that's the topic? Oh, Nicaragua. Yeah, and also I was telling you about Nicaragua. I take, I've started going back down there, and for the last few years I take tours down there. We go down in April, uh, April to May, right in that early part during the dry season with no bugs and no hurricanes. And I take tours down there. And I, I know a lot of people, uh, other artists are doing tours these days. I'm my own tour operator. Um, since I had left there, foreigners have come in, the Spaniards and Italians and Germans and Dutch and all that who own hotels. We stay only in locals' hotels and we only eat in locals' restaurants when we go down there. And it's a, it's a fun time. If you're interested, Ruthie's got the, the brochure on that. Which you can take. So I'm going to fit. Y'all might have noticed I have this thing uh, to my song self. It's kind of, I'm a little preoccupied with the decline of American culture. It's something that keeps kind of coming up. And uh, a number of years ago, I, uh, it was pointed out to me, uh, and, I mean, it's almost a cliche now of, about the parallels between the decline of the American Empire and that of, of the Roman Republic. And, uh, well, the Roman Empire, the Repu Roman Republic, uh, petered out around the first century. But uh, the Empire carried on right up until around 900 AD. And so it was like a thousand years of decline. So you go and you compare the two, it, it happens a little, seems to me it might be happening a little faster uh, here. Uh, I went and did the studies of the parallels between them, and I saw a lot. The thing that stood out to me most was that uh, at the height of the Roman Empire, that the, the basic people in Rome, the, the people of the street, were struggling. They were struggling with food, they were struggling, but there, there were people, a one percent, if you will, uh, who were living high on the hog. They had they had villas up in Tuscany, and they were trading with slaves and gold and and, and uh, ivory and uh, they own all the, the olive orchards and and they but they kept the people they were able to kind of keep them down and keep them from having a revolt and from overthrowing them by throwing them a few bones and they the bones that they threw were primarily the Colosseum where they had free entertainment every week they would stage something there and they never charged a nickel to get in there to see them. Uh, and so they had that, and then when they were there, they gave them free bread. Uh, and there was a poet who came up with this thing called Bread and Circuses. And I tried to write a song called Bread and Circuses. And I couldn't figure out anything to rhyme with circuses. And I was, what I was trying to do was frame the kind of the iconography, uh, iconography of my own kind of white trash uh, southern upbringing. And, um, so I came up with a song called High Fructose Corn Syrup. And, and, so, and so this, I want you to sing pretty like you were singing with Fred. Okay? Okay. okay. And, because, and I know it's, a, it's Sunday, and this is a hymn. And I want to hear the words are, High Fructose Corn Syrup. Just repeat it. High Fructose Corn Syrup. Reality TV. Reality TV. Taylor Swift and Burger King. Jesus and cheap gasoline. Jesus and cheap gasoline. You don't think you're going to remember the only song you're going to remember.
It's hard with woe, and I cling 